Hey, George here. Random Wikipedia. Smoke on the potato fields. Plot. The movie opens in an airport abroad, as the middle-aged Dr. Meluzin and his wife are parting. He has decided to return to his native Czechoslovakia, in search of himself, or of a self that he used to be. His wife is remaining behind. Meluzin takes a job as a primary care physician at a health center in the small village of Trog. He is given a modest room in an apartment that belongs to the health center, which he is to share with a young couple named Cadet. The villagers are at first a little suspicious of Meluzin, and he unsure of his place with them. His first patient, an old man, flees when asked to undress for his exam, and the nurse assigned to work with Meluzin seems dismayed when he insists on maintaining medical records for the patients. He is standoffish and apparently disapproving when the ambulance driver takes him along on a detour to visit the ambulance driver's girlfriend, an impulsive young redhead named Mark it as it's over. When Meluzin lights a fire in a field, one autumn afternoon, in order to roast potatoes that has been given for dinner, a villager yells at him to extinguish it. His return to his childhood homeland doesn't seem to be going well. On strolls to the cemetery, however, he befriends the villager Sexton, who jestingly calls him a colleague, and he also befriends his neighbor Pavla Kotova, a school teacher, after she lights a fire for him one day in the Franklin stove in his room and invites him into her kitchen for livens, pancakes, which reminds him of his mother, who made them with bilberries when he was a child. Her husband, Petra Kardet, somewhat younger than she is, remains suspicious of Meluzin, however, especially after Meluzin detects tension between the couple. Despite his suspicion, Petra confesses to the doctor that he and his wife haven't been able to have a child and asks for medical help. Meluzin declines to examine Pavla, claiming that she ought to see a specialist, but perhaps also protecting a somewhat melancholy but romantic attachment that is forming between him and her. He pointedly recommends that she bring Petra to be examined by a fertility specialist, too. When she goes for her appointment, it turns out that the infertility is Petra's, news that confirms Petra in his distrust of Meluzin. Petra leaves his wife, Meluzin, meanwhile, has gradually become more accepted by the villagers. He diagnoses a congenital defect in a company worker's young son, and an operation cures the boy. He becomes involved, too, in the life of Markita, the ambulance driver's girlfriend, whose eccentric mother has become reclusive and antisocial on account of a government plan to build a highway through her duck farm and home. Markita confides to Meluzin that she is pregnant. She refuses to name the father and asks for an abortion, which Meluzin declines to perform. After Marketa's mother finds out about the pregnancy, Meluzin stops a woman from chasing her daughter with a hatchet, and he arranges for the girl to stay with his neighbor Pavla. Concerned that the villagers will talk about the irregular family that they have formed, Meluzin quietly finds another apartment for himself. In the sixth month of Marketa's pregnancy, Meluzin discovers that Marketa's pregnancy will be risky to her, and sends her to a maternity hospital in a nearby city. Missing the company of her new friend Pavla, Markita runs away from the maternity hospital on foot one night, walking all the way back to Drog. Pavla is surprised to find Markita in her apartment, in pain, and realizing that she is going into labor, fetches a nurse. By the time Meluzin arrives, Markita has already given birth to a healthy girl, with the nurse's assistance, but Markita's own state is critical. In the rickety village ambulance, whose windshield wipers don't quite work. Meluzin and the nurse driver and the baby through a storm, but they don't manage to reach the city hospital in time to save Markita. In a coda, Meluzin finds Petra Kardet driving a bulldozer he has taken a construction job on the highway that threatens the home of Markita's mother and persuades him to return to his wife. Petra and Pavlov will adopt Markita's daughter.